All right, folks, we're going to talk about capacitors and measuring capacitors. But in this video, I feel like I'm going to do a little bit of complaining. So um, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> what I wanted to do is talk about some projects that I worked on. Let's start with that. So here's a filter that I just recently built. And in this filter, it called for uh, 20 picofarad uh, capacitors. And I went through digging through my, my capacitors and stuff, and I couldn't find 20 picofarad. So I could find these. And so I found these 22 picofarad capacitors, right? And when I started measuring them on my uh, Fenirsi, this is the DSO TC2, and it's got a pretty slicked up interface, and it seems like it's a nice device. And let's go ahead and hit OK. A lot of them were coming back at 17 picofarads. And I was like, well, they're supposed to be 22. Why are they, why are they measuring at 17? And uh, I was getting upset about that. So I went through and I measured a whole mess of them because I have a whole mess of them. And I found some that were measuring 18. Let's see what this comes. Oh, it's not in there all the way. All right, now that I got it in there, now look, it's measuring 12. Um, this one was measuring 18 the other day. And so I started to get a little bit more and more upset or frustrated by the whole thing. And I just went ahead and I built this and there we go. 18 is what it's saying now. I don't know if you can see that or not. 18 picofarads. Must not have had a good connection. So I, you know, just was getting more and more frustrated and upset. And I said, well, I'll just build it with what I got and let it, let it be. Now, if I take it and I do the same measurement, I just recently calibrated this, so it should be fine. Uh, on this device, it's coming back at 19 point whatever, 82. And that's not a really big difference, but with larger capacitors, when you start to have the variant of measurements, you may make a decision to use a capacitor that's not exact, but it's close enough. And you don't really know, and you have to fine tune your circuit. And that gets to be a little bit of a hassle. And so like, here's another project that I recently did. And this is a 20 meter bandpass filter. And I really like to use these silver mica caps for any of the filtering work that I do. I don't like to use the ceramic caps. So when I first started really messing around with them, these are the first capacitors that I bought. And I know that these are junk and they're just a uh, hill to touchy. And, um, these, these vary greatly and, um, there are different values and stuff like that in there, but they didn't have the, the exact ones that I needed. Um, here's a, here's an antenna prototype that I did and you can see the capacitor in here is supposed to be hundred picofarad. And this is just one of these cheaper, the hill touchies. For the antenna work, I switched over to these uh, TDK RF capacitors, and I've got to do more work and more testing on these. So, um, you know, just expect to see some of that in the future on the channel. But I found this uh, website, a buddy of mine, Other Andy, he um, told me, he says, hey, man, you need to check out this Tube Depot. Tube Depot is a company, and they sell parts for people who work on guitar amps. And... In the past, when I would order the silver mica caps, they're pretty difficult to find online. You can usually order like a pack of 10 in a particular value, uh, like on eBay or something like that, or Amazon. And a lot of times you got to pay shipping, so they get very, very expensive. Anyhow, on this uh, Tube Depot, they had tons of them because that's what folks use in the guitar. So I went deep and I just ordered a bunch of them, and it, they were relatively inexpensive. Uh, for these, like, I mean, I was paying like 70 cents a piece for, for these, uh, for these silver mica capacitors. And I guess this is why I was really wanted to do the video. Cause so when I, when I got them, uh, I started testing them cause I, I want to build a filter that's going to require me to, to do a, um, 25 picofarad. And this is the package that I got. So these are 22. So I figured, Hey, that's close enough. Let me throw these on the, on the meter and see what I get. And um, so I went ahead, I did the test and it says 19 and I'm like, man, that, well, that's, that's a lot further away than I, than I wanted. And I started testing them all and they were all testing at 19. And so I said, well, let me get out the other meter and this meter, it's okay. It works well, but it's not as, as good as I had hoped. And I've been using this one because I guess I was fooled into the fact that it's got like a slicked up interface and all that, that it was a better meter. And uh, I have videos on both of these meters, by the way, if you're interested in them. And so anyhow, I um, just for for giggles, I wanted to test this one. So this one comes out at 20, 21 picofarads. My hands might be causing a little bit of an interference there. So 
21, they're rated at 22. So I felt a little bit better about that. But I guess the moral of the story is, is if I want to build these things, um, and I'm going to be buying the more expensive capacitors, I probably need a better LC meter.